Okay, I'm going to solve an equation using the balance beam method, and this equation has some negatives in it. So um, I'm going to pull out a negative x and put on one side, and I need negative 4x, so I'm going to pull out another one, and another one, and finally 4, and I need a negative x on the other side as well. And then I need four single blocks on this side. One, two, three, four. You'll see my balance beam is moving. And then I need a single block on this side. Okay. So now you can see that my balance beam is balanced and my equation is there on my balance beam. So now I'm going to try to solve it. So this little applet that I'm using asks me to add, subtract, multiply, or divide the same thing to both sides. Well, it seems to me like I would like to have all the x's on one side. And I have, I have 1 over here, negative x, and I have 4 negative x's over here. So I, I think I'm going to actually move these negative 4x's. It's always easier to deal with your letters when you have letters on both sides. Deal with your letters first. And it's always easier to move the smaller coefficient. Well, the coefficient is just a big fancy mouth word for the number in front of the letter. In this case, I have negative 4 in front of this letter. And over here, even though there's nothing there, it's a negative 1. Negative 4 is smaller than negative 1. So I'm going to try to get rid of those negative 4x's. Well, to get rid of negative 4x, or to make it go to 0, I need to add 4x to both sides. So you'll see that when I did that, it made my balloons go away. All four of the balloons went away on this side. And over here on this side, you'll see that one of the balloons canceled out. And now I have three extra x's over here. But they're positive. Um, so I have just plain number blocks over here. And I have x's and number blocks. And I'd really like to have just my x's. So if I could get rid of this one block down here, that's a positive 1. So what I think I'm going to do is subtract 1 from both sides. And you'll see that I, I lost one block from each side. And my equation is still balanced. 3 equals 3x. So now, when I get to the point where I have just plain numbers on one side and letters on the other side, is the point when I divide. And I always want to divide by whatever the coefficient on the x's, whatever that number um, in front of the x is. So in this case, that's 3. So I'm going to divide both sides by 3. And you'll see that I'm left with 1x, or x equals 1. And so that's my answer. So when you're solving an equation, you're trying to keep things balanced. Um, just like this balance beam does, what you do to one side, you must do to the other side so that you keep your equation balanced and you end up with the right answer.